now uh, we request the honorable minister uh, to present the progress report for the year thank you gauravani luma shaka principal secretary shri jayesh ranjan garu gauravani lu shrikant garu from nascom shrinivas garu from our sec and uh, bharat garu from stpi gauravani lu amarnath reddy garu ma chief relations officer our special secretary dr vishnuvardhan reddy and uh, to all my colleagues from the it department to all my friends from the media me andarki kuda hrudayapurvakanga namaskaram hrudayapurvakanga swagatham actually shanivaram roju report vidudal cheddam anukunnam kani ade roju thuradrushto shatu mana orissa lo railway pramadam jaragadam andulo 100 mandi maraninchadam danto me andaram kuda anukunnamu meeku konta ibbandi kuda kaligichinattu nam aa roju press ki endukante అన్ని ఏర్పాట్లు అయిన తర్వాత చివరి నిమిషంలో పోస్ట్పోన్ అయింది కానీ అది సందర్భం కరెక్ట్గా అనిపించలేదు ఒక మంచి వార్త పంచుకోవాలి శుభవార్త పంచుకోవాలన్నప్పుడు అది కూడా అట్లాంటి మూడ్లో దేశం ఉన్నప్పుడు రాష్ట్రం ఉన్నప్పుడు ప్రజలు ఉన్నప్పుడు మంచిది కాదు అనుకునే చేయలేదు కాబట్టి ఎవరికైనా అసౌకర్యం కలిగితే మన్నించాలని ముందుగా కోరుకుంటూ నాకు ఈరోజు ఇక్కడ నిలబడి మాట్లాడేటప్పుడు ఒక సందర్భం గుర్తొస్తూ ఉంది ఇన్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఫోర్టీన్ వెన్ ద న్యూ స్టేట్ ఆఫ్ తెలంగాణ కేమ్ టు బీయింగ్ జూన్ సెకండ్ 2014 థౌజండ్ నాడు అంటే సరిగ్గా తొమ్మిదేళ్ల మూడు రోజుల కిందట ఆ రోజు నాకు బాగా గుర్తున్న సందర్భం ఏంటంటే నేను ఐటీ మంత్రిగా అదే రోజు మంత్రిగా ప్రమాణ స్వీకారం చేసిన తర్వాత స్ట్రైట్గా తెల్లవారి మూడు తారీఖు నాడు జూన్ నాడు నేను అప్పుడున్న నా ఐటీ సెక్రటరీ గారు బయలుదేరి స్ట్రైట్గా మేము ఇండియన్ స్కూల్లో బిజినెస్కి పోయాం ఐఎస్బీ ఐఎస్బీలో ఆ రోజు ఒక చర్చ పెట్టుకున్నాం రెండవ రోజు ఐటీ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఐటీఎన్సి డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ టెక్నాలజీ అండ్ కమ్యూ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్స్ అండ్ కమ్యూనికేషన్స్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ పరంగా మనకున్న స్ట్రెంగ్స్ ఏంటి మనకున్న వీక్నెసెస్ ఏంటి మనకున్న ఆపర్చునిటీస్ ఏంటి థ్రెట్స్ ఏంటి అంటే ఒక స్వాట్ అనాలిసిస్ అవకాశాలు ఎట్లా అందిపుచ్చుకోవాలి ఎక్కడ వెనుకబడుతున్నాం ఎక్కడ నిజానికి బెంగళూరు లాంటి నగరాలతో పోటీ పడలేకపోతున్నాం ఏ రకమైన చర్యలు తీసుకుంటే బెంగళూరుని కూడా మరి పోటీ పడే స్థాయికి బెంగళూరుకి కూడా ఒక పోటీనిచ్చే స్థాయికి ఎట్లా ఎదగాలి అనే ఒక ఆలోచన ఆ రోజు కొంత సమాలోచనలు ప్రారంభించిన ఆ రోజు ఒక రోజే కాకుండా తర్వాత కూడా జూన్ థర్డ్ నాడు ఆ తర్వాత మళ్ళీ ఒక వారం పది రోజుల తర్వాత మళ్ళీ అట్లా ట్రిపుల్ ఐటీ ఐఎస్బీ ఇంకా కొంతమంది ఇక్కడ ఐటీ రంగానికి సంబంధించిన పెద్దలు ఎస్టీపీఐ అదేవిధంగా నాస్కామ్ ఇట్లాంటి సంస్థలకు సంబంధించిన పెద్దలు అందరితో కూడా కూర్చొని చాలాసేళ్ళు చాలాసార్లు ఆలోచనలు చేశారు ఏం చేయాలి ఎట్లా చేయాలి ఎట్లా చేస్తే రిజల్ట్ వస్తుందని అందరం మాట్లాడుకున్న తర్వాత జూన్ నెల చివరి ఐ థింక్ ట్వంటీ ఎయిత్ జూన్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఫోర్టీన్ తాజ్ కృష్ణలో ఒక మీటింగ్ పెట్టాం అందులో దాదాపు అప్పుడు హైదరాబాద్ నగరంలో ఉండే ఐటీ రంగానికి సంబంధించిన ముఖ్యులందరినీ కూడా ఆహ్వానించాం ఇందులో కొంతమంది ప్రెస్ మిత్రులు కూడా ఆ రోజు ఇందులో ఇక్కడ కూర్చున్న వాళ్ళు కూడా ఆ రోజు వచ్చి ఉంటారు అనుకున్నాను ఎందుకంటే ఇక్కడ చాలా కొత్త మొహాలు ఉన్నాయి మరి అప్పటికి ఇప్పటికి కొత్త వాళ్ళు వచ్చారని తెలియదు కానీ బట్ అప్పుడు ప్రెస్ వాళ్ళు కూడా చాలామంది వచ్చినారు ఐ థింక్ ఫ్రమ్ డిఫరెంట్ పబ్లికేషన్స్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ యూ అట్ కమ్ ఆ రోజు నేను ఒక మాట అన్నప్పుడు చాలామంది నమ్మలేదు ఐ సెట్ వెయిట్ ఫర్ అనియా ఒక సంవత్సరం ఆగండి హైదరాబాద్ తిరిగి తన దూకుడు ప్రదర్శిస్తుంది ఐటీ రంగంలో దూసుకుపోతుంది ఒక సంవత్సరం తిరగకుండానే హైదరాబాద్లో మార్పులు మీరు చూస్తారు ఒక దశాబ్దం లోపల హైదరాబాద్ని ఐటీ రంగంలో దేశంలోనే ఒక అగ్రశ్రేణి నగరంగా నిల్చోబెడతాము బెంగళూరుతో ధీటుగా నిలబెడతామని ఒక మాట ఆ రోజు చెప్పడానికి కొంత సాహసం కావాలి ఎందుకంటే అప్పటికి ఇంకా మాకు కూడా అంత పూర్తిగా అవగాహన లేదు ఏం జరుగుతుంది ఇండస్ట్రీలో ఏం జరుగుతుంది నగరంలో ఏం జరుగుతుంది దేశంలో అనే పూర్తి అవగాహన లేకుండా ఆ మాట చెప్పాలి అంటే కొంత ధైర్యం సాహసం కూడా కావాలి దానికి తగ్గ విధంగా ఇక్కడ గౌరవ ముఖ్యమంత్రి గారు కానీ ప్రభుత్వం కానీ ఒక క్లారిటీ ఒక ప్రణాళిక ఏం చేయాలనుకుంటున్నాం ఒక విజన్ ఒక డిరెక్షన్ ఇవన్నీ ఉండాలి సో ఆ రోజు నుంచి ఈ రోజుకి చూసుకుంటే ఆ రోజు మేము మా ప్రయాణం ప్రారంభించిన నాడు టూ థౌజండ్ థర్టీన్ ఫోర్టీన్లో ద ఐటీ ఎక్స్పోర్ట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ తెలంగాణ అండ్ ప్రిడామినెంట్లీ హైదరాబాద్ వర్ అబౌట్ ఫిఫ్టీ సిక్స్ థౌజండ్ క్రోర్స్ టూ థౌజండ్ థర్టీన్ ఫోర్టీన్ ఫిగర్స్ తీసుకుంటే ఫిఫ్టీ సిక్స్ థౌజండ్ క్రోర్స్ వాజ్ ద టోటల్ ఐటీ ఎక్స్పోర్ట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ తెలంగాణ అండ్ హైదరాబాద్ ద టోటల్ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ ఎంప్లాయిడ్ పీపుల్ ఎంప్లాయిడ్ డైరెక్ట్లీ ఇన్ ద టెక్నాలజీ సెక్టర్ వాజ్ అబౌట్ త్రీ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ ట్వంటీ థౌజండ్ ఆర్డ్ డైరెక్ట్ జాబ్స్ and as you all know mari oka it rangamlo oka pratyaksha upadhi avakasham unte 
పరోక్షంగా మరొక నాలుగు అవకాశాలు వస్తాయి వన్ ఈస్ టు ఫోర్ ఇస్ ద జనరల్ రేషియో దట్ వీ టాక్ అబౌట్ సో అక్కడి నుంచి మీరు చూస్తే అంచెలంచెలుగా అంచెలంచెలుగా ఎదుగుతూ యాభై ఆరు వేల కోట్ల నుంచి యాభై ఆరు వేల కోట్ల ఉద్యోగాల నుంచి యాభై ఆరు వేల యాభై ఆరు వేల కోట్ల ఐటీ ఎగుమతుల నుంచి మూడు లక్షల ఇరవై వేల ఉద్యోగుల నుంచి లాస్ట్ ఇయర్కి చూస్తే సరిగ్గా ఒక లక్ష ఎనభై మూడు వేల కోట్ల ఐటీ ఎగుమతులు ఏడు లక్షల పైచిలకు ఉద్యోగులు ఇది ఒక ప్రోగ్రెస్ మీరు గమనించినట్టయితే దాట్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ వాజ్ అ గ్రేట్ స్టోరీ బట్ వాట్ హ్యాపెన్ దిస్ ఇయర్ is even more impressive even more staggering and that is what i'll come to now my humble request is please remind yourself of two three things okati ee period lone correct ga covid vachindi rendu samvatsaral covid tho work from home ante work from bangalore lo aithe jokes unnai work from road ani adani idan jokes kuda unnai so atla work from home ani work from road ani work from idani hybrid model ani kotta kotta maatlu enno vinnam maname vinnam aa paristhantha kuda jarigindi ప్లస్ కోవిడ్ తర్వాత అసలు కొత్త ఉద్యోగాలు వస్తాయా అసలు ఐటీ రంగంలో ఏమవుతుంది ఇట్లాంటి కొంత అనిశ్చితమైన వాతావరణం కూడా ఉండింది ఇదంతా ఒకవైపు దీంతోపాటు ఇంకోవైపు మాకు కేంద్రం నుంచి లభించాల్సిన సహకారం కానీ ఇంకోటి కానీ ఎక్కడ కూడా ఏమీ లేదు ఉన్న ఐటీఐఆర్ రద్దు చేశారు ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ టెక్నాలజీ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ రీజన్ అనేది అయితే అప్పుడు యూపీఏ గవర్నమెంట్ పోతూ పోతూ అనౌన్స్ చేసిందో బెంగళూరుకి హైదరాబాద్కి అది రద్దయింది రద్దు అవ్వడమే కాకుండా దాని స్థానంలో ప్రత్యామ్నాయంగా కూడా ఏమీ రాలేదు ఆల్టర్నేటివ్ మోడల్ ఆన్ ఎంకరేజింగ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ టెక్నాలజీ ఇన్ ఇండియా అనే మోడలే లేదు పోనీ ఇంకేదైనా సహకారం అందిందా అంటే ఏది కూడా లేదు మొత్తానికి కేంద్ర ప్రభుత్వ సహకారం ఏమీ లేదు లేకపోగా ఇంకా ఇన్ఫ్యాక్ట్ ఇంకో చెప్ ఇంకో మాటలో చెప్పాలి అంటే చాలా లిమిటెడ్గా అక్కడో ఇక్కడ ఏదో మాట మాట సహాయం తప్ప ఒక పైసా సహాయం లేదు ఆర్థికపరమైన ప్రయోజనం లేదు సరే ఎస్ఈజెడ్ లాంటి సంస్థలు ఎస్టీపీఐ లాంటి సంస్థలు వాళ్ళ పరిధిలో వాళ్ళు సహకరించారు తప్ప యాజ్ ఎ గవర్నమెంట్ గవర్నమెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా డిడ్ నాట్ కమ్ అవుట్ విత్ అన్ ఆల్టర్నేట్ మోడల్ కొత్త మోడల్ కానీ ఇంకోటి కానీ ఏది లేదు రిప్లేసింగ్ ఐటీఐఆర్ ఇన్ స్పైట్ ఆఫ్ దాట్ దిస్ నైన్త్ యాన్యువల్ రిపోర్ట్ లెట్ మీ రిమైండ్ అగైన్ ఇది మాకు కొత్త కాదు ఇది తొమ్మిదవ యాన్యువల్ రిపోర్ట్ వీ హన్ దిస్ ఇన్ ద పాస్ట్ వీఆర్ డూయింగ్ ఇట్ అగైన్ మాకెవరు చెప్పలేదు మాకు ఎవరు డిమాండ్ చేయలేదు మీరు చేయాలి రిపోర్ట్ అని అయినప్పటికీ వీ హీన్ పబ్లిషింగ్ ఎ రిపోర్ట్ ఎవ్రీ ఇయర్ బికాస్ we believe in accountability we believe in transparency tappakunda paradarshakanga javabdari tananto prajalaku maaku ichina adhikaram kattabettina prajalaki em jarigindi em jarugutha undi cheppali ane oka maulikamaina oka principle pettukoni prathi samacharam industries department kaani urban development department kaani information technology department kaani prathi samacharam release chestu vastunnam migitha reports kuda mi daggara unduntai lekapothe we can always furnish to you so this ninth annual report showcases an extremely impressive year of growth and achievements in the IT and electronic sectors i'll also be going through this and you'll also see slides um you know popping up so you can make some notes and references from there as well there has been recession global slowdown covid etc etc in the last couple of years but telangana has not only maintained its growth but we have surpassed all national averages solidifying our position consolidating and making hyderabad and telangana a leading destination for innovation and investments today i'll uh, present some key investments and milestones that have happened in the last year and let me remind you this is till the numbers are till end of march but i'm also going to talk about the investments that have come through in our last us and uh, um, you know uk visits investments emo they include the us and uk visit as well which is post march but numbers that i'm going to talk about will only reflect numbers till 31st march the financial year um so this year california based ev company called fisca has set up their india headquarters in hyderabad and uh, continues to grow and continues to add to our innovation and sustainable mobility capabilities another very interesting company called as callaway callaway golf has also set up their digitech facility in hyderabad they have already started with about 200 people they are a global leader in golf equipment apparel and entertainment and i'm looking forward to in fact uh, seeing them grow and grow even bigger a very large company which is very very prominent called qualcom as you all know has now become this center in hyderabad has become their largest this year that is has become their largest center outside of the us they have invested nearly 4000 crores 
to expand their Hyderabad operations over the next five years. And uh, their campus is a mega campus. In fact, it's very close from where we are. It's about 1.7 million square foot of campus. Nearly 10,000 employees are working from Qualcomm, making this their second largest center in the world. Now, what I'm even more delighted about is a huge success story, which is next. Google, yeah, I think your favorite uh, search engine now for everybody. So Google is building their largest campus outside of uh, their headquarters in the US in Mountain View in Hyderabad. Last year, in fact, we broke ground. And it is, uh, construction is going on furiously. We broke ground and it's a 3.3 million square foot uh, energy efficient sustainable building. We're very proud that this is their second largest campus in the world outside of the US and uh, delighted that it is coming up and it will become a true testament to Hyderabad's capabilities, engineering progress, and it will stand as a landmark. This building will stand as a landmark for Hyderabad for decades to come. Uh, we also welcomed a very interesting company, a Swiss company called Swiss Re. Swiss Re is a reinsurance company. They provide uh, their 160-year-old Zurich headquartered company. They have set up their innovation and analytical center in Hyderabad, and it's a huge addition to Hyderabad's banking, financial services, insurance ecosystem. Also very proud about another European company called as ZF. ZF again has their second largest facility in the world outside of Germany in Hyderabad. It's a 300,000 square foot campus, a large campus. Uh, I would like to thank uh, our dear friend Mamta Shamarthi for this. Uh, she was instrumental in helping us achieve this. Again, it was launched in 2017, but they've expanded operations last year. And now with more than 5,000 engineers, this is their second largest center in the world. Another very interesting company called is Experience Services. It's an American Irish consumer credit reporting giant. They have expanded operations in India. And now they've started to add about 4,000 employees in Hyderabad. And I'm very proud that uh, this will again be one of their largest centers in the world. Another very interesting Indian company called is LTI Mindtree, an amalgamation of uh, LNT and Mindtree. It is the fifth largest IT player in India after Wipro, Infi, TCS, and others, and Tech Mahindra. They're also, ex they're also expanding their operations, and I've inaugurated this facility recently. And uh, it's very close to where we are, about 100,000 square foot of facility. And now what is even more delightful about Mindtree is they've also launched a center in Warangal. And I'm looking forward to the center in Warangal also growing and becoming larger and bigger. Next is another very interesting company, Grid Dynamics. It's an engineering IT services company. Um, into, they're into cloud solutions. Uh, it was, again, started with 1,000, and they're also expanding. They're into AI, data engineering, cloud, of course, and they continue to grow, uh, which is, again, an extremely important uh, uh, area you know, in terms of emerging technologies. Uh, we also, in fact, not only have focused on private investments and private sector investments coming in, we also launched, uh, we are very proud, in fact, to have launched a cybercrime center of excellence because, as you all know, even crime is evolving. Crime is also shaping, uh, you know, changing forms and uh, shapes. Now, the typical uh, crime on it, the new age crime is now cybercrime. So we launched in tandem with Cyber, Cyberabad Police Commissionerate, a center of excellence for cyber safety. We're proud that this is, again, first of its kind initiative in India. And we look forward, again, to working closely with the industry, to working closely and creating more cyber warriors creating more employment opportunities for our youngsters, and creating a very vibrant cyber ecosystem from our state, leading, for the, leading the rest of the country as well. Another uh, investment that I'm very upbeat about, in fact, I skipped uh, going to Delhi for it, and I also got a bit of flack in the media for this. I got a BRS party office opening out in time, and I got a lot of people I I chose to stay back to ensure that Bosch, which was a company with, which, who, with whom we were working for a long time, with whom we've been talking to for a long time, a German company, German major, because I knew the importance of Bosch. I knew what could be done with Bosch. I stayed back, and I inaugurated it on the same day. <laughs> BGS over BRS, <laughs> Bosch Global Software over, over, uh, um, Bosch, I, I uh, stayed back that day, and I inaugurated. I'm truly delighted that it's shaping up really well. They're going to hire about 3,000 people, by 2025, centers growing and growing at a furious pace. They're a leader, a German MNC, of course, a leader in mobility, uh, industrial engineering, and home appliances. Now, what I look forward to with Bosch is them becoming a part of our mobility valley as well. Because, you know, this cross-functional knowledge sharing that can happen, 
you know, when you have uh, someone like Bosch in Hyderabad is, you can have an OEM, you can have an engineering and innovation company, you can have startups, and the entire spectrum of these guys is what makes a place, uh, you know, grow and thrive. And I believe that uh, this is an extremely important investment from Hyderabad's perspective. Next is, of course, our good old uh, Microsoft. They've uh, consolidated their presence. Of course, they continue to grow, and they continue to make Hyderabad, I mean, Hyderabad continues to remain their second largest development center in the world. They've also added three new data centers with more than $3 billion of investment. It's a huge investment and a huge pat on the back for the Hyderabad's uh, cloud ecosystem. And uh, Hyderabad continues to attract investments in data centers. And uh, Hyderabad also continue. And by the way, this is Microsoft's own data center. So they have other data centers, but this is their own data center. And this is their largest in the, in the country. And one of, the, one of the largest foreign direct investments for Telangana state as well. Next, of course, is a large, possibly the largest foreign direct investment that we have received. This is, uh, again, last year, 36,300 crores, almost uh, 4. Point, I think $7 billion then. I don't know what the rupee value today is. But in, in rupee terms, it's about 36,300 crores. And uh, three data centers, which are under construction right now, will, will be inaugurated sometime soon. Uh, all coming up in Hyderabad. And are very proud that this is the largest FDI that the state of Telangana has received uh, from Amazon. And the relationship with Amazon is special because you know, our relationship started uh, by, on, on the discussion of a, a small fulfillment center. Then it became, uh, then came the world's largest campus of Amazon in our own city. Now this is one of their largest investments anywhere in the world. And I'm proud that this is really a uh, consolidation of our relationship. And because our chief minister keeps saying, your existing customer is your biggest brand ambassador. If your existing customer is happy, they're going to give you more business, they're going to spread the word, they're going to spread the cheer, just make sure that they're taken care of. So our relationship with Amazon and it going from strength to strength is a testimony to that, testimony to Telangana government's industrial relations and what was being just mentioned by Srinivasgar, that he heard, even Srikanth mentioned it, he heard stories from investors on how well they're received and taken care of in Telangana. In fact, uh, Jay Shranjan keeps answering WhatsApp messages at 2 o'clock in the morning is what investors have told me. I, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't uh, sent him any messages in the night, but Jayesh is so proactive and my team is so proactive. I have, I'm super proud of my team because any leader is only as good as his team, his or her team. And my team, I can proudly tell you, is an amalgamation of expertise and experience from the private sector, from, I mean, if, if these guys were in the private sector, they would be killing it. They would be making millions and millions of rupees. But they chose to come to government. The fact that they've taken a significant pay cut, they've come here, they're working with us, shows that they're not only committed to the state, but they're committed to the country and the cause. And I truly, sincerely, wholeheartedly thank my entire team for their service, for their zeal. Um, another very important investment in cybersecurity was from CyberArk. Now, this is an extremely important uh, company, again, in cybersecurity research. It's, it's an Israeli company. Uh, they've expanded their presence here, and uh, they continue to consolidate their research and development efforts. In fact, we are going to collaborate with them in creating more cyber warriors and ensuring that more young kids uh, get gainfully employed. Next is uh, Marquee Investment uh, that we signed up recently in the last uh, couple of weeks. Um, uh, this was London Stock Exchange. Now, it's a marquee name. London Stock Exchange Group is something that everybody in the world knows. Again, they have done their due diligence. They're uh, more than... Uh, 300-year company, and uh, they have done a great deal of research before they narrowed down to Hyderabad. Of course, uh, we've had to convince them, meet them multiple times, and eventually they signed off recently when we were in London, and uh, this center will be starting this year, starting with employment of 1,000 people. But what I've seen in the last nine years of my experience as a minister of a technology and industry is every time a foreign MNC comes in saying, I'm going to recruit 1,000 people, Inevitably, they end up uh, doubling and tripling and quadrupling their numbers in no time. So I'm pretty confident that, uh, you know, London Stock Exchange will also certainly grow and grow faster than what they think, uh, what they have imagined. Next is another very interesting and exciting company called The Zone. It is pronounced uh, The Zone, but it's spelled D-A-Z-N. Now, The Zone is a global leader in sports live streaming. Uh, they have presence in about 180 countries, and they've chosen Hyderabad as their center for product development. This is their second largest 
outside of uh, the UK. And this investment, again, will create 3,000 jobs by 2023-24. And um, the zone, I believe, will also help us attract more and more other media, entertainment companies, uh, streaming companies, sports companies, e-sports companies, etc. as well. So I'm very upbeat about the prospects of the zone in, uh, in the state of Telangana in India. Next is another marquee investment. This was in New York, again, a couple of weeks ago. Warner Brothers Discovery, again, a huge global media powerhouse, which needs no introduction because it really is a very, very well-known name and an entertainment powerhouse, like I said. They have announced, uh, so again, I believe this is just a foot in the door. I do believe that there is enough and more that we can get from uh, this investment uh, particularly. The next one is, uh, you know, again, uh, an investment that uh, we um, could sign off on in the U.S., a company called Zapcom, uh, a U.S.-based product engineering company. Again, they are growing and they're growing big. Uh, they will initially employ 500 and expand to 1,000 within a year. They'll uh, be specializing in uh, travel and hospitality. Um, have, they have products uh, which are uh, focused on AI. Another very interesting company, again, we sealed this uh, in uh, Houston, in Texas. This is an oil and gas uh, company called Technip FMC. Now, Technip FMC is special because of two reasons. One, they are not only uh, going to set up a R&D lab here, but they're also setting up a manufacturing footprint, which is extremely important. The manufacturing uh, investment itself is about $150 million. And uh, manufacturing will create about 1,000 jobs. And um, you know uh, the other piece, the development piece, will also create another 2,500 jobs. What I believe is, between the manufacturing and uh, R&D, the total export potential value is about $650 million. So it will add to Hyderabad's export you know, uh, worthiness. It will improve and it will give a major boost to Hyderabad's ecosystem and the city's potential in diverse sectors, including oil and gas. Uh, next one, again, is a very, very interesting company, Alliant. Alliant was in Hyderabad. It's in BFSI sector. Um, they work um, in consulting and financial services. They had about 1,000 people. Again, they invested in 2017. But this year, when we were in Houston, I was mighty impressed uh, with uh, their management and their audacious goals. In fact, they are so happy with Hyderabad that uh, this was, again, an unplanned announcement. When we went there, we didn't know what numbers they would be telling us. Uh, we knew that they had expansion plans, but we were not sure of uh, the kind of potential there was. Uh, we went in with a very conservative mindset, thinking, you know, it'd be great if they can double or triple. But what they told us was staggering. They said, we're looking to add about 9,000 people, 9,000 jobs in a matter of next few years. And they asked us for help, and we actually gotten them in touch with TASK. And I'm truly confident that these 9,000 new jobs will give the state's youth opportunities in tax, accounting, audit services, technology. 